This is Belinda with The Brokerage. Today I'm going to show you how that we're going to start and submit a complete application on Health Sherpa, quick and easy. So after you've selected your plan and you're ready to enroll, it, you're going to click Start Application. It's going to bring you to this screen that you will actually need to search the marketplace. So you will be able to key in your client's information. by just the name and date of birth. And then it will tell you if there is a client in there or if there is not. When you're in this section, if you have a client that already has a healthcare.gov account, their information will pull up right here under where it would say create new application and it will have a button for you to add to your clients. But in this instance, this is a brand new to the marketplace application. So we're gonna go ahead and create a new application. You're gonna come up to your privacy statement and you're gonna select that you agree. This is gonna be information that will be pulled in from your quote. So we're gonna go ahead and key this information in. And now it's gonna ask for your information here. Again, if you have different counties, make sure you choose the right county. You're going to answer that this is part of the, or this is your permanent address. If you have an email address, you'll key it in here. Phone number, you will key in here. And then you will hit continue. Now the application is syncing with the marketplace. So now it's actually bringing in all of that information and merging it. Now it's going to ask you about your household. I, Belinda will be applying for coverage. I do wanna see if I'm eligible. Will there be anyone else applying? Yes, my husband. And we're going to save that person. And then I'm also going to bring in my dependent. And this is my child. I'm going to save this person. That is everyone that is in my household. So I'm going to click continue. It's going to ask relationship questions. So now it wants to know if Mark is the parent, step parent, of Caleb, he is the parent. Does everyone live at this address? Yes. Do we all plan to file a tax return? Yes, we do. I will be filing jointly with my spouse and we will be claiming our son as a dependent. It will then ask you based on the information you keyed in, you will click add Caleb. Then it's going to ask, is Caleb married? No. Do I live with anyone else in our household that's under 19? No. Does Mark, my husband? No. And does Caleb? So it's just verifying household information. Now it's going to ask you, based on the Social security number that you keyed in on the first screen, it will automatically fill that in. It's going to ask if you're a tobacco user, are you a U.S. citizen, are you in jail, are you an Alaskan, Alaskan Native or American Indian. You have the choice to answer the next quest, two questions, decline to answer, or you can answer them. And now it's going to say that in this particular case, they cannot match up a social security with my date of birth. So it's asking me, does this information match what's on my social security card? I'm going to say yes. It's going to, I'm going to answer the next question, no. And if it's optional, again, you have the choice to answer it or not. Now it's going to ask for Mark's information. 
He is not a tobacco user. He is in the he is a U.S. citizen. He is not in jail. No, and no on the rest of them. No, he is not. And now it's going to ask for my son's information. And you're going to answer the same questions. The same questions will be on everybody that will be on the application. Now it's again going to say that it cannot match up his date of birth and his social. So it's asking, is the information correct? Yes, it is. And was Caleb in foster care? No, he was not. So now the next section, it is going to ask for income. So this is where you're gonna take anyone's income that is claimed as household income. So Belinda is going to have a job. I'm gonna work for Burns Hair Dresser. I'm gonna key in my phone number. And I'm gonna say that I make $24,000 a year. And I'm gonna save my employer information. Do I have any deductions? No. Do I have, uh, is that my income, 24,000? Yes. Now it's gonna ask me, does Mark work? Yes, Mark works. He works for Pizza Hut. And he's gonna make 24,000, or no, let's make him make 35,000 a year. You're gonna save his information. No, he has no deductions. Yes, that's his annual income. Now we do not claim our son's income because he is a full-time student. He works just a part-time job. So we're gonna say that he does not have any income that we include in the household income. He does not have any deductions. So his income would be zero. Now it's going to ask extra help questions. Do you need help with your ADLs? Do you need help with any type of um, Assistance, do you have Medicaid or the CHIPS, Children's Health Insurance Program? Were you found ineligible? If all of these answers are no, just click continue. I am not currently enrolled, neither is Mark, neither is Caleb. I do not have any type of HRA, so I will click continue. We are not offered any employer-sponsored plans. They don't offer insurance, so we're going to continue. Will anyone lose qualifying coverage? No. Will anyone have a recent change? We're going to say we got married and we just did this. And then we're going to continue. So now it's going to give you the chance to review all of the information that you have keyed in. And you're going to click continue. Now you're just going to go through your agreement questions that you do agree to um, file your taxes. Um, you do agree to that the information above is correct. And that everything you have filled out is correct. You're going to select yes, and then you're going to sign your name. And you're going to click continue. What this is going to do is now sync with the marketplace. And now you will have an eligibility letter that is extremely important that you will need to look at. So it will tell you right here if you are eligible. So it does show here that I am eligible to, to apply for coverage, 
but I do need to send in additional documentation is going to be required. You do have to download your eligibility letter. It is very important that you save this letter because it will show you the documents and information that you will need to send in as it says your action next steps. And it tells you what documents to send in that is, that's requested and would be approved for anything that you have to submit. So what you'll do is just close that down and then you're going to go ahead at that point and you would go ahead and submit the application and then it would take you right into the plan you selected and then you would hit enroll.